Okay, this video is part two in a series on electric power system load flow analysis. And in this video, we're going to look at designing an object-oriented load flow solution that we can apply to C-sharp. Now, uh, load flow analysis can get really kind of complicated. So it's, it's nice to be able to step back and just design how you're going to do it. And object-oriented approach really, really makes it a lot easier because you can take each real-world component of the power system, like generators and transformers and transmission lines, and make it a separate class, a separate object with properties and methods. And it really makes it easier to visualize how you're designing it and how it all works together. Now, in the previous video, uh, we looked at some of the basic concepts behind the solution of a very complicated power system network load flow. And recall that we we broke the solution down into a fairly simple uh, current analysis of Kirchhoff's law. And we said the way you solve it is at each bus, you add the sum of all the currents into and out of that bus to zero. And if you do that, you can come up with an equation like we have here, and you can solve the bus voltage at each bus using this equation, which is basically just Kirchhoff's current law. Uh, this current through this line is V1 minus V2 times Y12. And you just add those equations together and you can come up with an equation like this. And the way you solve in this case for but, uh, voltage at bus 2 is you use a guess uh, you use a reasonable estimate for the voltages at these other buses, and you plug those in, solve for V2. It will give you a better value. You plug that back in and resolve, and you'll, you'll start to converge on a, be a better value for V2. And then what you do is, you know, here's kind of a, a drawing of a very simple system where we have a fixed voltage at a generator, and we have some guesses at some load buses. And we assume that the voltage is going to be around one per unit. So what we do is we take those guesses, we solve this equation, for example, at bus two, and we'll come up, a, come up with a revision one for that voltage, which is a little bit closer to the real value, which is, say, 1.02. Then we take that value, move on to bus four, using that updated value for V2, solve for bus four, get a, a revision one for bus four voltage, and now we've got these two updated voltages, move to bus three, do the same thing. Now we've got three updated voltages and move back to bus two for revision two. And that's basically the method you use. Kirchhoff's current law, just filling in your estimates and going around to each bus and kind of resolving the bus voltages to get a, uh, and converge on a, a solution for the bus voltages. Now, what we're going to do here, instead of going into more detail on how to, for example, solve at the generator buses and some of the more complicated, uh, some of the, the complications, what we're going to do is kind of step back and design a load flow solution, an object-oriented load flow solution. And then we can break the, the problem up into blocks, into objects, and then later on in, in uh, future videos, we can focus on the, each block like the, to see how you would solve it. So here is kind of an idea of a basic design for a object-oriented C-sharp solution. Now, of course, it's not the only way, and you may find a, a better way. You may find better ways to approach this. But this is one way that I've uh, used to do a basic solution. And basically, I've broken things up into classes and objects. And let me just show you the result of a um, solution. I've got a, a C-sharp uh, basic uh, Windows Forms application. And I basically just open up a input text file. And over here on the left, it, it uh, tells me what it uh, parsed out of the input text file which here are the buses, here are the loads, here are the generators, here are the lines. And it, it, it forms the, the matrices I need to solve the network, like the Y matrix, the Y bus matrix. And then it solved those. And down here on the left, it gives me the voltages um, 
complex and magnitude and angle voltages for each bus and then calculates the line current. So here's the result of kind of an object-oriented approach and I'll show you uh, how I went about doing it and maybe in future videos we can get into the details of how to uh, implement these, these objects. So again, here is the basic design. Um, here in the middle I've got the main Windows Forms application and all of these other blocks here are classes that are instantiated into objects. So you can see down at the bottom, I've got these system elements. Each one is a class that I can instantiate and I can use in my solution. So the basic idea here is, for example, you apply for each physical element on the power system, like transformer, the load, the generator, the shunt, the bus, and the line. You can make each one of those a class in C Sharp with, um, it's got properties, it's got methods, even if it has events, and you can make a class out of each one and treat each um, instance of this class, each transformer, each load, each generator, as a separate object from that class. And it really makes it a lot easier to model your system and do the solution. So um, here I've also got two other classes. I've got a system arrays class and basically that is just an, a, a class that holds all of the arrays that I need to define the system and to define the network and we'll talk about exactly what that does and then here I've got another class which is called a solver class and that has properties here in yellow in each of these classes I've got the properties and then in red I've got the methods what it does. So um, basically in this design, the main method will first take an input text file. Basically I've got a comma delimited, delimited text file that has all of the um, variables, all the properties of the system. And it takes that in, reads it in using stream reader as a string. And once it's got that read in, it will send that string to this other class, the system arrays class, and it will parse those, uh, that string with all of those elements in the input text file and form arrays. Uh, it will form an array of buses, lines, generators, shunts, transformers, loads, and it will put all those into arrays and, and form what's called a Ybus array, which is a critical component in solving this um, uh, load flow. So this is really an array class, and it takes all the input data, forms arrays, and these are public arrays. So throughout my solution, I can access these arrays as properties and use them in, for example, the solver. Here I've got a solver class, which again has properties, um, basically, you know, for each solution, uh, an acceleration value, a tolerance, and we'll talk about that later. And then it's got these methods. And what this does is it takes the solution of this arrays class after I've, I've read in the data and formed these arrays, like the Ybus array. Since it's a public array, it can access that array and it will calculate the voltage at all the buses using that, the Ybus, and it will return to the main method, it will return the voltages at all the buses. So basically, it's, I've read in um, the text file, I've calculated the network arrays, and I've used those to solve the bus voltage at all the buses, and I feed that back to the main uh, Windows Forms application. And from that, I can plot it out like I did in my uh, application I showed you. You plot out the voltage results. And you can also solve like the current on all the lines. You've got the V bus and you've got the publicly available Y bus, and you can solve the currents on all of the lines, which means you can solve all of the powers and VARs and uh, everything else you need. Now, like I say in this video, I'm not going to talk in detail about the code used for each of these. We can do that in a, in a future video. Uh, a lot of this gets kind of complicated. That's why it's really nice to be able to break it out into objects, into blocks of code that you can work on individually. And I'll probably in future videos uh, look at each of these 
classes and objects individually and show how to um, how to interact with them. Now, for example, this solver uh, is a class which you would uh, instantiate and it can have multiple methods to solve the load flow. For example, there's uh, what we've been talking about, which is the gauss seidel method, which is kind of an older and slower and uses more resources. And there's also the newton raphson which is a newer, faster, and uses less resources, but it's quite a bit more complicated. So what you can do in the solver class, you can have two methods, uh, which is what I've got. One is a newton raphson one is a gauss seidel and you can separate those out and use them independently. Uh, but they both take the same values. They take the, the network arrays and they return the bus voltage at all of the buses. And they each have their own um, properties uh, to do the solution, to converge and to, to speed up the solution. So it's really nice to have this solver class with different methods so you can um, work on it individually and probably in a future video we'll go through that and and show some ways to write code to do the um, the solution methods and we'll look at a, a typical uh, text file input that I'm using for this particular case and this is this is in the format of PSSE which is a standard um, industry power system analysis software and basically you've got the bus data in these lines, you've got load data, and you can see all of the data is, is got comma delimited um, data. You got the load data, fixed shunts, generators, lines, and there's a lot more. So basically, you read this in, this entire text file in, into a string, and then you parse it based on the delimiter character, and we can show you how to do that. And from that, you break those out. All of this load data is in a, a class a load class with all the um, with each element is a different uh, load instance same thing with the generators and the lines and so on so basically this class takes that string uh, using the delimiter it parses it and breaks it out into the different properties of all these classes and then generates the all-important Y bus which is basically the network admittance bus and that it makes public so that anybody can access it using the system arrays class and then solves um, the currents on the line and can print them out here. And you see here, you got the Y bus that was solved by the system arrays and then the matrix of all the line currents. And some of them are zero uh, where there's no lines connected. And that's basically the solution. And from that, you've also got the bus voltages, the solved bus voltages. And from that, you can calculate all the powers and watts and bars. So that's basically a, um, an idea for a design of a object-oriented C-sharp um, application. And what we'll do in, in future videos is we'll start to look at each of these classes, each of these objects separately, and see how we would develop that. And um, for example, transformer, you can have methods that will automatically operate the load tap changer. And you can have properties like the impedance of the transformer. And generator, you can have voltage regulator property uh, methods and properties like the impedance of the generator and so on. So having an object oriented, a, a class or for each type of element is really very um, uh, common sense and, and helps a lot with understanding how you can set this up as, as objects. So I hope that helps. Take care and have a really good day.